Bless the Lord who forgives all our sins. His mercy, His mercy endures, endures forever. forever. O God the Father, creator of heaven and earth, have mercy upon us. O God the Son, redeemer of the world, have mercy upon us. O God the Holy Spirit, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy upon us. O holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God, have mercy upon us. Remember not, Lord Christ, our offenses, nor the offenses of our forefathers, neither reward us according to our sins. Spare us, good Lord, spare thy people, whom thou hast redeemed with thy most precious blood, and by thy mercy preserve us forever. Spare us, good Lord. From all evil and wickedness, from sin, from the crafts and assaults of the devil, and from everlasting damnation. Good Lord, deliver us. From all blindness of heart, from pride, vainglory, and hypocrisy, from envy, hatred, and malice, and from all want of charity. Good Lord, deliver us. From all inordinate and sinful affections, and from all the deceits of the world, the flesh, and the devil. Good Lord, deliver us. From all false doctrine, heresy, and schism, from hardness of heart, and contempt of thy word and commandment. Good Lord, deliver us. From lightning and tempest, from earthquake, fire, and flood, from plague, pestilence, and famine. Good Lord, deliver us. From all oppression, conspiracy, and rebellion, from violence, battle, and murder, and from dying suddenly and unprepared. Good Lord, deliver us. By the mystery of thy holy incarnation, by thy holy nativity and submission to the law, by thy baptism, fasting, and temptation. Good Lord, deliver us by thine agony and bloody sweat, by thy cross and passion, by thy precious death and burial, by thy glorious resurrection and ascension, and by thy coming of the Holy Ghost. Good Lord, deliver us. In all time of our tribulation, in all time of our prosperity, in the hour of death, and in the day of judgment. Good Lord, deliver us. We sinners do beseech thee to hear us, O Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to illumine all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to bless and keep all thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to send forth laborers into thy harvest and to draw all mankind into thy kingdom. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give to all people increase of grace to hear and to receive thy word and to bring forth the fruits of the Spirit. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to bring into the way of truth all such as have heard and are deceived. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give us a heart to love and fear thee, and diligently to live after thy commandments. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee so to rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, and all others in authority, that they may do justice and love mercy and walk in the ways of truth. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to make wars to cease in all the world, to give to all nations unity, peace, and concord, and to bestow freedom upon all peoples. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to show thy pity upon all prisoners and captives, the homeless and the hungry, and all who are desolate and oppressed. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord that it may please thee to give and to preserve to our use the bountiful fruits of the earth, so that in due time all may enjoy them. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to inspire us in our several callings to do the work which thou givest us to do with singleness of heart as thy servants and for the common good. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord, that it may please thee to preserve all who are in danger by reason of their labor or their travel. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to preserve and to provide for all women in childbirth, all young children and orphans, 
the widowed, and all whose homes are broken or torn by strife. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to visit the lonely, to strengthen all who suffer in mind, body, and spirit, and to comfort with thy presence those who are failing and infirm. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to support, help, and comfort all who are in danger, necessity, and tribulation. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to have mercy upon all mankind. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to give us true repentance, to forgive us all our sins, negligences, and ignorances, and to endue us with the grace of thy Holy Spirit to amend our lives according to thy holy word. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to forgive our enemies, persecutors, and slanderers, and to turn their hearts. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to strengthen such as do stand, to comfort and help the weak-hearted, to raise up those who fall, and finally to beat down Satan under our feet. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to grant to all the faithful departed eternal life and peace. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. That it may please thee to grant that in the fellowship of St. Luke and all the saints, we may attain to thy heavenly kingdom. We beseech thee to hear us, good Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world. Have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sin of the world. Grant us thy peace. O Christ, hear us. O Christ, hear us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose blessed Son was led by the Spirit to be tempted by Satan, come quickly to help us who are assaulted by many temptations, and, as you know the weakness of each of us, let each one find you mighty to save. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, As for me, I am establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the domestic animals, and every animal of the earth with you, as many as came out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you that never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of a flood, and never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. God said, This is the sign of the covenant that I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I have set my bow in the clouds, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow is seen in the clouds, I will remember my covenant that is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh, and the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. The Word of the Lord. The psalm for today is a portion of Psalm 25. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. My God, I put my trust in you. Let me not be humiliated, nor let my enemies triumph over me. Let none who look to you be put to shame. Let the treacherous be disappointed in their schemes. 
Show me your ways, O Lord, and teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation, and you I have trusted all day long. Remember, O Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and my transgressions. Remember me according to your love and for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. Gracious and upright is the Lord. Therefore, he teaches sinners in his way. He guides the humble in doing right and teaches his way to the lowly. All paths of the Lord are love and faithfulness to those who keep his covenant and his testimonies. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Christ also suffered for sins once for all, the righteous for the unrighteous, in order to bring you to God. He was put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which also he went and made a proclamation to the spirits in prison, who in former times did not obey, when God waited patiently in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were saved through water. And baptism, which this prefigured, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience, through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and powers made subject to him. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the Spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my Son, the Beloved. With you I am well pleased. And the Spirit immediately drove Jesus out into the wilderness. Jesus was in the wilderness 40 days, tempted by Satan. And he was with the wild beasts, and the angels waited on him. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the first Sunday in Lent. We are starting our inner preparation, our inner journey towards Holy Week, and ultimately to the joy of Easter. Mark tells us today about the very first events of Jesus' adult ministry. He's about 30 years old. Mark tells us that Jesus is baptized by John, and then immediately Jesus goes into the wilderness. When you think of the wilderness, what do you imagine? Do you imagine forests and mountains? Do you imagine snowy hills with trees and glaciers? Where Jesus lived, the wilderness is desert. It's very hot during the day and often very cold at night. And it's not sandy desert, it is rocky desert, mountainous desert. There isn't much water, so running out of water or not having enough water is a constant worry. And there are not many trees either in Jesus' wilderness, not much shelter from the sun during the day. And Mark reminds us that there are wild beasts. Other Gospels that are longer than Mark's Gospel go into much more detail about the temptations, about the struggles that Jesus had in the wilderness. Mark wants us to know simply that Jesus really struggles with some things when he's alone in the wilderness. When Jesus is in the wilderness, there are scary things outside, there are the wild beasts, and there are also scary things 
inside. In fact, whenever the Bible speaks about wilderness or the desert, the Bible means both a physical place and a place inside, a place in our hearts. The wilderness inside is all those times when we are afraid or feel all alone or not sure what to do or not sure that God is with us, not sure that God is listening to our prayers or when we are feeling angry or sad or empty or when we are feeling like we totally messed up, when we are feeling powerless over something we can't control. I think every one of us has those feelings sometimes, whether we're 10 years old or 30 years old like Jesus or 80 years old. That is the wilderness inside, and we've all been there. Perhaps we feel that we are in the wilderness inside now. Mark says to us today that when we feel like we are in a scary place and all alone, Jesus has been there too. Mark also tells us that along with wild beasts, there are also angels in the desert, angels who come alongside Jesus and help him. They encourage Jesus and they remind him that God is always with him. Jesus is not alone, even when he feels all alone. The angels are God's messengers. Sometimes in our lives, God's messengers are regular people who encourage us and lead us out of the wilderness. Who are the angels in your life who help you and come alongside you when you are feeling all alone or afraid? When we are in the wilderness, when we're in the wilderness inside our hearts, what do we focus on? This is something else that we can learn from Jesus today. Do we focus on the wild beasts or do we focus on the angels, the messengers from God? There is a famous Native American legend that you may know, but in case you don't, I want to share it with you. This Native American legend, probably Cherokee, in origin is about two wolves that fight inside each of us. One wolf is destructive. He is all those negative things that tear us up inside and make us feel terrible. The other wolf is good. He is the wolf of joy, peace, love, hope, and kindness. These two wolves the good and the destructive wolves are always fighting inside each of us. The wolf that wins is the wolf that we feed. What Jesus chooses to do when he is in the wilderness is that he focuses on God every time first, and it helps him in the wilderness. We can read a little bit more about that in the other Gospels. Jesus never forgets God. Jesus turns to God whenever he is tempted to turn to something else. He remembers God. God always comes first for Jesus when Jesus is thinking about his options, when Jesus is thinking about what to do, when Jesus is tempted to turn to something else to make him feel better. Jesus remembers God and puts God first. The truth is, we don't have control over whether or not there are wild beasts in the wilderness. There are. Jesus reminds us, when we focus on God and the good first, we can tame the destructive beasts and reduce their power over us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
We believe in one God, the The Father, Father, the the Almighty, Almighty, maker maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. We pray today for all those on our parish prayer list. We pray for all first responders, all healthcare professionals, all those who meet the needs of others in times of crisis. We pray for the lonely, the sick, the hungry, all those who are in hospital and facing surgery. We pray for those who have lost loved ones. We pray for the comfort and strength that come from God alone. We pray for all of our leaders, all those in authority around the world. And we pray for our parish and for all those worshiping with us here at St. Luke's and around the world. All these prayers and praises we lift up to you, our Heavenly Father, confident that you can do more than we can ask or even imagine through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose name we pray this day. Amen. Amen. O God, you promise to hear the prayers of your people. Grant that what we have asked faithfully, we may receive effectually through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who was tempted in every way as we are, yet did not sin. By his grace we are able to triumph over every evil and to live no longer for ourselves alone, but for him who died for us and rose again. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to reclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of power and might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Holy Mother of God, Blessed Luke, our patron, and all the saints, into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our, our Father, Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your, your kingdom come. come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen.
Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. The gifts of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Bow down before the Lord. Grant, Almighty God, that your people may recognize their weakness and put their whole trust in your strength, so that they may rejoice forever in the protection of your loving providence through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Mm. 